today, chicken breast. We're going to learn how to bone out a chicken breast. Yes, that amazing butcher, he's back. Pork belly's here in the house. You know what? We're going to see him soon. I am going to go and get a front row seat. So if I'm not back here when they want to film this part, sorry, I will be very quickly back here as soon as I can. I want a front row seat on this one, okay, guys? Let's go see what's happening with Delicioso. Hey, you're here. Finally, you arrived. That's good. Hey, welcome to meet you in the kitchen. I'm your host for this segment of the show. I'm a Delicioso. Okay, everybody, today, you know what we're going to do? We're going to get right to it now, and we're going to do a chicken breast with a stuffing. But I'm going to show you a couple of things. Uh, now, you know what? Let's go back to earlier today when uh, a pork belly he bone out the chicken. We come right back. Hey folks, I'm your host Pork Belly. Welcome to Butcher's Corner, <laughs> my segment of the show. This is where you do all the learning about the cuts of meat, what to buy, what not to buy, how to buy. All that information is right here with me, Pork Belly. I love my name. <laughs> anyway, here's the thing. A lady came up to me the other day, you know, and she said, uh, hey, listen, uh, you got chicken legs? I looked down, no, I don't have chicken legs. Do you? <laughs> I love that one, folks. Never gets old. Okay. Anyway, today we're dealing with chicken breast. Here we go. This is a whole chicken breast. It is bone in. What we're going to do, we're going to bone it out. Okay. So first thing we need to do when you're going to bone out a chicken breast, right, is you want to cut through this little bit of cartilage right there. You'll know when to stop. You'll feel some resistance. You feel that resistance, you stop. You're going to put your hands underneath like that. You're going to push up, and my thumbs are pulling apart. And what we want to do is just remove this keel bone, okay? Sometimes it's easier, sometimes a little harder. We put it down here on there like that. You pull the keel bone out. Now what happens is in most butcher shops, when they're doing this, what they do is they just cut the breast in half, they go right through the keel bone. Once the chicken breast is cut in half, very hard, well a lot harder, it can be done, a lot harder to bone out. For those of you who don't know, chicken breast comes from this area right here, okay? This is the back, it says wing, but in behind the wing is the back of the chicken, okay? and. Um, we got the drumsticks over here. This is also the back, but it extends over. We got the thigh there. There's his feet. There's his head. There's a neck. Funny story. My wife and I one day were in a restaurant in Toronto, and she ordered half a chicken. The chicken came, went on the plate. I said, you know what? They actually gave you half a chicken. Well, that's what I asked for. I said, yeah, I know, but you got half the head. No, she says to me, yes, dear. I said, look, I can see the beak. There's the beak right there. There's where the crown goes. This is the crown up here. She says, no, I said, yes, dear, that's what it is. I said, Just so you know. Okay, I said, well, we worked together at the time in the uh, St. Lawrence Market in Toronto. So the next time we're at work together, we used to get chickens. We would bone them out or uh, cut them up, but they were... The only thing that we had to eviscerate them even, okay? The only thing was they were plucked of their feathers. That was it. That's how fresh these chickens were. So I put one on the block and I said, does this look familiar? There's the crown. There's the beak. Oh my God, Jesus, I had a half a chicken. <laughs> I said, absolutely, dear. That's what you got. Anyway, so getting back to this now. So once you've exposed that, the only bone that there is is just laying here, just right on top of the... Uh, right on top of the meat, like that. So just take a nice sharp knife, okay? And remember folks, you're doing this at your own risk. Easy enough to do, but easy to cut yourself too. So you wanna be careful of that. There's one bone, and here's the other one. You want your knife to be nice and sharp. Sharp knife, they say, won't cut you. A dull knife will cut you. I know that sounds kind of funny, but the only time I ever cut myself, six months in cutting meat, I, I was uh, boning out a, a sirloin butt, and I was trying to take the bone out. The knife slipped off the bone and went right up my wrist there like that. So 
If it had been a sharp knife, it wouldn't have slipped off the bone. Okay, so the only other thing I got to remove here is I got one half of the wishbone out on the other side when the uh, bone came out. There it is there. Now there's that. Now you know what you want to do with that, folks. You want to save that. And uh, when you get enough of them, you can make some chicken stock. Okay, so now I'm not sure what uh, Delicioso wants to do with the uh, chicken breast, but that's it boned out. Okay, if you want room, you can slice it open this way and this way and open it up, butterfly it a little bit, depending on what you're going to do. If you're going to stuff it, something like that, you might want to have a little more uh, space to uh, bend it around. Perhaps uh, whatever Delicioso is going to do, he can show that to you. But that's how to do it. It's a very simple process. Like I said, make sure your knife is sharp. Folks, stay sharp. Have fun. This has been Butcher's Corner with me, Pork Belly. Until next time, stay sharp. Okay, so now we are back. And we saw how he bone out the chicken breast. That is good information. Keel bone, out. Rib bone, out. Wishy bone, out. What's in? Meat. Okay, as he said, we could uh, cut this open like this. I'm doing this for a demonstration only in a whole piece. Now this is a very large a chicken breast. Okay, so we got it like that. We could put we could put everything, in, including the kitchen sink, in there and wrap it up in the cook it, okay? But we're not going to do that. But lots of room, and we could put in this and that and this. Whoosh, wonderful. But we're not going to do that, okay? But we could. This uh, chicken breast is so large that we're going to cut it in half, okay? And one half is going to have a more skin than the other half. The half without the, too much of skin, we're going to remove the skin like that. We'll put it there. We're just going to cut away a little bit of the fat there like that. And now we put this down. Okay. We take the sausage. We put the sausage in. Now I'm just going to do this plainly, okay. But if you have um, some kind of your favorite mustard like uh, the Dijon with the seed, beautiful. You put that in there. You have a favorite of hot sauce? Beautiful. You put that in there, okay? Now you take that and you roll it up. Look, it's hiding. Just, oh, let's play hide the sausage. <laughs> it's going to be fun game. It's a fun game now because now we're going to wrap it with, what are we going to wrap it with? We're going to wrap it with a bacon. That's all right, everybody. We're going to wrap it with a bacon. Look, we'll put the bacon down like that. And then we go like this, and then we roll it all up, like that. So you're stuffing the chicken breast with sausage and then wrapping it in bacon? Absolutely. Yeah, that's the boy. Danny, Danny boy comes through in a crunch. Okay, but you know what? We're not finished there yet. Now we're going to take, and we're going to roll it in the bread crumb, like that. Okay? You see that? Look at that. Oh, that's a beautiful. Okay, you could use a bigger bowl if you like. It's a wonderful to use a bigger bowl. Okay, so we go like that. We sprinkle this around. We make sure it all gets covered up, okay? I should have used a bigger bowl, but I didn't, okay? I should have, would have, could have, didn't. Okay, I know that story. I live that story. And that's a that like that, okay? So, now, let me go. I'm just going to wash my hands and I'll be right back, okay? And we're going to continue. Okay, everybody, that didn't take it too long, right? Okay, now good. We're going to spin it aboard. Oh, crashing there. Okay, now we take a this a chicken. And we put a this a chicken there. Hey, look. We're going to remove a little bit of that. And a little bit of this. We turn ourselves around. And that's what it's all about. Okay, now, you know what? We have a piece of brie cheese. And we have a black of forest ham. I don't know if Steakman tell you about Black Forest Ham, but I'm sure he's gonna, if he didn't already. I'm not gonna let him tell you. He gets upset if I give away his secrets before we get there. Okay, so we roll it, 
and mark it with a D for Delicioso and me, yeah, and Danny and me too. Double D. You like double D? I like double D. Ah, huh? Danny and Delicioso. We're having a good time, okay? So, there's that. There's that. You know what, folks? Now I just have to get a pan. The, the oven is a preheating. Is that 300 right now? We're going to do it at a 350. And that's beautiful, okay? So now we're going to be right back again. I'm just going to get a pan, okay? Ah, you know what? The guy who's supposed to get this ready... What's his name? Thrilla Magrilla? Who knows where he is today? He's not here. He's not doing it. But we're going to find him, okay? Okay. Be right back. Oh, hello. Oh, I certainly wish somebody would tell me when you folks come in here. Hmm. I feel kind of foolish now reading How to Beat Your Father at Chess. It is one of my favorite books. <laughs> of course, I beat him every time. <laughs> He never learned how to play. Checkers! Mm, checkers was another matter. <laughs> but I digress. Welcome to Beyond the Plate with me, your host, Stakeman Freud. <laughs> yes. Chicken breast. Stuffed chicken breast. Mm. I love it. With a bread dressing or perhaps rice. Wild rice. Oh, wild. <laughs> There's something wild about rice. <laughs> ah, I digress again. Did you know that the chicken thigh and, and drumstick that complete the package make the chicken leg? And you know what? There is more iron in the thigh than there is in the white meat chicken breast. When the chicken runs around in the yard, pecking away, it's his legs that he's using. It builds up character. Chickens don't fly. And they rarely flap their wings. But their legs, they get used a lot. So remember, there's more nutrition in a thigh than there is in a breast. I'm Stakeman Freud from Beyond the Plate with Stakeman Freud. Folks, thank you for coming in. And uh, you know, the comment box is still down there. The recipes are there. Questions, still there. Let us know what you're thinking, how you're feeling, what's going on. See you next week. I'm your host, Meat TV, Harry Jordan. Talk to you later, folks. Hey, where is everybody? Everybody's gone. Oh my goodness, the chicken is still in the oven. Oh. Oven off. Oh my goodness. These guys. Where's Delessio? Delessio! So. Oh, look at this chicken. Looks good. Oh, it looks like the cheese might have run out. Mm. Let's get something down here so I can. Put this chicken down and see what it's all about here. Well, I guess I'm going to eat good tonight, whether they are or not. I don't know. But I'm going to. Let's see here. Ooh. Is there a letter there? Yeah, it says, uh, Harry, enjoy the chicken. <laughs> oh, I didn't know you were taping this, man. Hey, you want to have some with me, Dan? Look, they left us some, man. That's oh, good. Yeah, smells good. Here, listen. We should get some with the sausage. So look at that. Right in the middle there. Doesn't it look neat? Hey, you know what Delicioso was telling me? That he makes a bread with sausage baked right in. In the bread. <laughs> yeah, that sounds good, doesn't it? Hey, we should try that. I thought for a second you were wearing Stakeman's glasses, but... No, no. Yeah, yeah, just that one day, you know. Oh, look at that. Cheese still in there. Oh. Come on, buddy, dig in. Let's go.
they all go, they all left here. Alright. That's the one with the sausage. Try that first. Wow. Is that good? That's awesome. Is it overcooked? It might oh. be. These guys, no. you know. No? Hmm. Try that. Oh my gosh. Hey, you know what I just realized? That Steakman never gave his Black Forest ham secret away. Hmm. Remember he said earlier he was going to say something about Black Forest ham. But he told me what it was. You know what it is? Black Forest ham is coated in that black... Um, but today they use molasses or something like that. But years ago they used to coat it in blood. Oh, yeah. And that's what made Black Forest ham black. That's awesome to know, isn't it? Hmm. Isn't that good with the brie cheese there? That's delicious. Yeah. All right. Hmm. Well, I got nothing left to do but clean up and go home. <laughs>